Hi everybody, welcome. We are gonna to talk today about how you can take your basic wheel throne forms and you can create sculpture out of them. Uh, you have two options really. One is a little bit more precise, a little more specific. Um, if you are a little stronger with wheel throwing, it might work well. And that's this more traditional way of creating a larger vase out of smaller forms. So this was created out of one, two, three pieces. If you're going with this approach, you have to think about the size of each of your components. So for instance, if I knew that I wanted to take this form that I threw on the wheel and I wanna attach it with this form on the wheel, when I'm throwing them, I have to think about and make sure that the sizes line up. So this is a good, if you're really planning on doing something like this, you wanna do a sketch, you wanna see what you have that works with it, and then any remaining throwing, you wanna make sure that the size of the bottom of the piece will connect with the top of the other one, or that the top connects to the top. So just a little more planning. And for that, you would put your piece on the wheel, slip and score, slip and score the next layer on, um, add some clay, and then you kind of trim it on the wheel. So it's a little more self-explanatory, um, but very tricky to make sure that it all lines up. We're going to talk a little bit more about how you can make more diverse sculptures. So this is a great example made out of one, two, three, four, five different wheel thrown forms. There's also some slab components. Here is a um, slab element that was used to connect these two plates together. So if you're doing something that's more sculptural, you have to think that your wheel thrown pieces, you're going to be distorting them and changing them. At a minimum, I'm gonna be attaching them in different directions. So one thing that you can do, which I've already kind of got a head start on, is start just playing with your forms. There's nothing wrong with kind of messing around and seeing what you can do. So this was one wheel thrown form. I thought it would be kind of cool to play around with cutting it at an angle and then seeing what I can do. Um, you might notice I also made a notch in it. I'll show you how that attaches in a minute. So. In addition to just being playful as you're working, which is a really important part, you've got to start to kind of like brainstorm, whether you do that on paper, or in this case, I like to do it just with the pieces. So I made some cuts, and now I'm gonna play with how they go together. So I'm gonna set my pieces on the clay, and it's important when you do that, that this, these pieces of clay are in between plastic and leather hard. So that if I say, hmm, I kind of like how this goes together, but I want it to fit a little bit better, I can just take, because it's soft enough, and push that wall so that I have a much closer seam. So now when I slip and score, it's going to fit a lot better because I've kind of manipulated it. Remember your wheel thrown pieces, even when they're on the wheel, you can pull them, you can distort them, really you can do whatever you'd like with them. Um, so now I can start to play around with, do I slip and score this on, or do I want to still spend some time kind of thinking through the rest of my sculpture? Um, so cutting is a really great technique. The other one I mentioned is creating a notch. So if I know that I want these two forms to come together, I can start playing around with, if I cut a notch out of it, how will that change their relationship? So in this case, it's kind of sitting attached to it. Now, if I lay it down like this, that changes the relationship, or if I lay it down off to the side there as well. Maybe I really wanna put it notched with the piece that came before. So the first step is just to play around with and figure out how your pieces are gonna to go together, at least a couple of the main components. Then in one more video, we'll talk about how you can start to put these together. Um, final notes on this, you wanna have a bunch of things you can work with, be playful, make sure they're all between plastic and leather hard, and start kind of planning on paper or plan in front of you and take some pictures as you go. Good luck with your sculptures.